very warm welcome to all of you from the venue for the Europa League final, St Jakob Park in Basel, Switzerland. Well, I'm Peter Drury and I'm joined in the commentary box by the familiar figure of Jim Beglin. Hi Peter, it's great to be here. So the players and officials stand tall for the anthem. The lineups we've just been given. the whistle Ribery driving on now what can they conjure from here now it's Thiago Thiago gets flagged offside he just needs to work on his timing and be a little more aware of his position not played the ball that's a foul out wide to the right and the play and it is a goal kick that's a throw It's Thiago. It's a long forward pass. Lewandowski. What a save! Terrific reactions. He's done very well to get to that. That wasn't the easiest of saves by any means, Peter, and I think his instincts were... Well, they were just razor sharp. but not by that far. Well, if he hopes to do better than that, he's got to work on his technique and his timing. The contact wasn't right there, so there wasn't much chance of success. Well, this is how to grab a game by the scruff of its neck. Front foot football with real intent. Ribery. Lewandowski. Has a swing at it! Oh, the keeper's done ever so well. The keeper has shown... Great concentration there. I think his anticipation pretty much did the trick for him. Intercepts the throw. That's well read. Mats Hummels tries to get it forward quickly. Oh, he's broken through. Who's going to make this theirs? Alaba. Coming forward. What does he try from here? No goals as yet. That's a foul. Simple decision for the referee.
Yeah, and the whole stadium knew that was coming, apart from him, it seems. He's ruffled a few feathers, but well dealt with. Thiago. Steered in. Oh, just couldn't turn it in. Yeah, and it all came from very good trickery in the, in the wider position, but quite a static defence was pretty fortunate to survive that little episode. It should have been much worse. Oh, poorly directed kick from the keeper, he's given it away. Now it's Lewandowski. Ball's come loose, and the chase is on. Oh, and they really should have been made to pay. Well, I think the opposition was pretty sloppy in creating a problem for themselves then, but he was onto it so quickly and, and very nearly made them pay. Yeah, he's pulled him up for that challenge. Kick. Spoon forward. Lofted into the middle. Oh, flags up. He must have been offside. Yeah, the cross was decent, but probably should have been dealt with defensively. At least he was nice and alert. But you have to say that it was made even easier because of the marking. It just wasn't tight enough. It's Robin. Now it's Thiago. And it's Thiago. Aimed in towards the centre. And he's done it! And grabbing that opening goal so close to half time, too, affords them that extra little psychological edge. And when it's one of your main men that's doing the damage, it just grows the togetherness and it grows the spirit. A great delivery and a finish to match. Well, as contact goes, that was tremendous, and it helped him to direct it exactly where he wanted into that net. I think when it comes to the aerial department, this fella is definitely no slouch. Bayern Munich get themselves into the lead. Still a fragile lead, though. They can't afford to sit on this. Now the pass. Some good work on the right flank. Now, what's next? And the ball's come out! Aimed long and direct. Lewandowski. Lewandowski. Vidal gets it back. Referee's had a look, and he's blown his whistle for half-time. Well, they showed glimpses of some wonderful football to go in with the lead at half-time, and that's definitely pleased the fans. I think they'll be looking to keep this intensity up now in the second half. Bayern Munich they have the lead in a tight old game. Half-time, 1-0. Bayern Munich going well here, and they're in a good position to kick on and add to their lead. They don't have to overcommit, but they can place more emphasis on stretching their advantage without necessarily neglecting things defensively. it out whistle's gone that's a foul boots it upfield Tries a through ball. Big relief, it just needed better contact. Right in front of the goal like that, and he's gone and missed it. I won't have to tell him that's not good enough. Oh, 
Well, we don't need to guess that they expect plenty of, of ball into the box. It's quite a crowd scene in the middle now. Well, it's a situation that requires resilience now and, and plenty of fighting spirit. It has to be matched. Pumps it upfield. Aim forward. Hit into the middle. Gets his head to it! Good delivery, but no joy. Yeah, and it all came from very good trickery in the in the wider position, but quite a static defence was pretty fortunate to survive that little episode. It should have been much worse. Final checks on the touchline, a change about to occur. Now it's Muller. It's Muller! He scores! And with that goal comes comfort. The purest possible contact. What a fabulous strike. That is just the top drawer finish. He was always in control and couldn't have placed it any better. And when the manager called on him, he was only too happy to repay that faith. Well, the instruction from the manager would have been go on and make yourself a nuisance and see if you can snatch a goal. Mission accomplished. There's going to be a change here. There's a man waiting to come on. Bayern Munich take a two-goal lead and things should be comfortable from here on in. Well, that uh, uh, looks a foul. Yep, referee's given it. Robin has a look up from the right-hand side, seeking out options. Whipped in. Header! You can get that clear. Thiago. And it's James Rodriguez. Swung in towards the middle. And more, and more, and more! And the lead is three! It is surely done! That is a fine goal, really efficiently done. Well, look, it's, it's often the timing of the jump that dictates what you can do with any header, and if you get it slightly wrong, then you'll struggle, but that was beautifully met, it really was. He's made it two, and no doubt he's hungry for more. Bayern Munich take a three-goal lead, and they are romping out of sight. Oh, he's not going to get that. That'll be a throw. Whistle's gone, that's a foul. Didn't catch it right. Well, in the circumstances, I think he did well to get some sort of attempt on goal because he was pretty much hurried and hassled out of that. <laughs> Played it short. Brings it forward. Hammers. This is promising. Oh, it's opened up nicely for him. He's gone for it. In it goes. Unbelievable. They are running riot here. Perfect timing, perfect connection. 
And a perfect outcome. I'll tell you, Peter, more went into that than you think. He had to anticipate the cross, get in the right position, and then time the volley. Bayern Munich tear their opponents apart once again. They are utterly ruthless. And it's James Rodriguez. Muller. James Rodriguez. Chance to shoot. And the defence can get it clear. He's put his foot right through that one. to the last five minutes. Muller, and he's on his way! Well, when the keeper lost control of that, usually a striker would, would react first, so that defender deserves praise. Chance! And he's got the ball glued to his feet. Got a throw in. Swung in, and that should be the keepers. And that will be the final act. Bayern Munich, winners of a no contest, they just swamped their opponents in superior quality. Your final thoughts, Jim? Bayern Munich kept such a, a high defensive line and squeezed the game with, with really good pressure on the ball and it made the big difference. It helped them to control things to their liking and they look comfortable in it for me. My thanks to Jim alongside me and as the fans make their way home, so must we. Good evening to you.